Okay, we're back with uh, lunch, and this is what we decided to have. We've got the Oriental soup mix. We've got the pork roscado with mushrooms. We've got the uh, saltine crackers. We've got the isotonic sports drink, and then we have the strawberry uh, energy bar, and we have the fruit nougat bar. So let me get this opened up. Wow, look at that. That's looking really good. Wow, can you smell it? I sure can. So, mm. I think this is some kind of a gravy. You can see pieces of pork, you can see some mushrooms. So, I'm gonna go get this uh, warmed up and we'll continue on, be right back. Okay, well that's heating up. We've got the oriental soup. It says to uh, put it in hot water and let it stand two to three minutes. So we've got some hot water in the foreignmre.com mug. An oriental soup mix. And it's supposed to have tomatoes and carrots and Onion, among other things. Ooh. Look at that. It certainly smells it. The aroma's coming off of it in the house. Mm-hmm. Smells much better than those damaged <laughs> rashes. You knew what I was about to yeah. say. This is what you want the house to smell like every day. Yeah, it, it took us a while to get the smell out. Yeah, but this, this is a lot better. Okay, so we'll give that two or three minutes. And we'll mix up this uh, isotonic sports drink. I think it's mango. I think so. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, it does smell like mango. Ooh, man. Yeah, but I'm most tired. of it most of it finally yeah. dissolved. It it looks like there's a little bit in the bottom, but uh it looks like iced tea. But it's definitely not iced tea. Let's give Nina a little try, just a little bit. It's an isotonic drink, and I, I, I taste, I do taste the mango. Usually in the isotonic drinks, I don't taste any flavor. But in this one, I do taste the flavor, but I also taste that it's not, I, I just don't like sports drinks, so. Yeah. I know it's not just a drink. Okay, so we've still got a couple minutes on the, the, the soup here, and we've still got a couple minutes on the, the main to heat. So we'll be right back. Okay, we've got the pork roscata heated up. It's pretty warm. And while we were waiting, Nina noticed that her strawberry bar was on my side of the tray. I, I didn't know there was a my side of the tray. So she insisted that I move it to her side. Hmm. Y'all see what I'm working with here. So still have the soup. It's been sitting up for a couple minutes. Mm -hmm. And I, uh, I put it in the microwave and heated it up a little bit. But as you can see, it, it's starting to thicken up, which is good, I guess. It's great. Uh, I know it smells great, so I'm ready to try it. Okay, so I'm gonna give it a try. Wow, careful the cup's hot. That's good. Uh, nothing's overpowering. Let me taste it. The the little circles are, are like uh, little noodles, round noodles. It's got little pieces of carrots in it. What do you taste? I like that it's thick. It's not 
it's not a um, one of those thin runny soups. It's almost like a broth. A thick broth, yes. Okay, and then we've got the uh, pork biscotti. Let's uh, get some crackers out for that. And these are called, actually called salted biscuits. Uh, during the little break, Nina got on to me. It's French. They're biscuits. Okay, well, biscuits. First and, taste one by itself. And these aren't as hard as the other biscuits. Wow. Tastes like a thick saltine cracker with a little bit of, of sugar to it. I was going to say it tastes like a salted animal cracker. Yeah, but it's not quite as, as sweet as an animal cracker. Not it's as salty made. as our American saltine crackers either. It's just a very light hint of salt. Okay, so let's try the pork rischetti. No. <laughs> <laughs> pork riscato. Pork riscato. With mushrooms. With mushrooms. And look at the, the size of this piece of pork. Mmm. Wow, that is good. And let's give Nina a try. This is this is very good. My teeth barely touched the pork and it all fell apart in my mouth. My goodness. I got a got a mushroom here. This Oh. It's great. so good. Except can I please have one more piece of pork? I know I can't eat anymore look, because I don't know if it'll look at react, the size of the look at the size of this piece of pork. The, the wow, the meat just is so tender and perfectly seasoned. I, you don't need mm. any to add any salt to Very this, good. do you? I think I, I will add a little bit of pepper to it. Uh oh. Here we go, y'all. I can do it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Look at that. Ha <laughs> ah, That's just luck. <laughs> now, there, was, there wasn't very much in there. Uh, when you eat the next piece, mm -hmm. do it with a cracker. Oh, I'm sorry, a cracker. When you eat the next piece, do it with a biscuit. Mm-hmm. All the flavor just balances out. Oh, really? Yes. It tastes like something in a restaurant. Wow. That is good. Very good. Okay, so moving on. Let's give Nina her cut. See if I can if I can get it open, which my my fingers are a little wet. Wow, look at that. Uh oh. Do you think I can eat that? Uh probably not, but I would just a little taste. Okay. Huh. Ew. Ooh. You took a big bite. Tastes like a jelly roll. And the more you chew, the more strawberry you taste. Wow. That's very that's, good. Mm -hmm. That's very strawberry. And it, it it tastes like there's a lot of, of natural strawberries in there. And then the fruit nugget, fruit nougat bar. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> yeah, don't mm -hmm. don't eat the paper part. Uh, too late. How did it taste with the paper? Tastes good. Okay, how does it taste? Now you gotta take another bite without the paper. Mmm, tastes even better. Now what what um what's in there? Is it apricot? Tastes and... like some apricot. Maybe some Pineapple. Mm -hmm. Pineapple, papaya, raisins. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Vanilla flavor. So, that's it for this. So what would you rate the soup? The soup, I give it an eight. It's an oriental soup. Uh, and it was it was fine. I like that it was thick. And it wasn't, again, I keep saying the words overpowering, but it, it, it was just a smooth, balanced soup. And I'd give the soup a 10. Uh, it, it's, it's thickened up a, a, a lot more. And let's see if I can get the camera angle right. You can see the, the, the uh, noodles, the carrots, some small peas, and the uh, Asian spices. It, it, it's very good. It's not spicy hot. So, mm, good point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that was really good. And then on the, the strawberry bar. My jelly roll. I call it a jelly roll. Uh, I'll give it a, a nine. I'll give it a nine because, wow, it packed a lot of flavor. Now, that did have a burst of flavor, especially as you chewed it more. I, I would give it a nine, too. It, it's just a little too sweet for my taste. Mm -hmm. But it, it certainly, it, it tastes like you're eating some uh, strawberries. It's it, it's very berryish. Very berryish. Yeah, that's all I could think of. And then what about the nougat bar? Well, I didn't try any of that. Oh, well, let's give you a little try. So. I'm not a fan of nougat, but this isn't too bad. I'll give it, oh, it's sweet. Yes, very sweet. Wow. Just like the jelly roll, it's a little too sweet for my taste, but it still tastes fine. I'll give it, I'll give it an eight and a half. And what about the pork? Or Scotto. No. Oh, oh boy. Restaurant quality. Definite ten. You can't go wrong with with a French ration, one of these mains. I, I give it a ten. There's there's so much meat in and here and the meat's not fatty and it's very tender. It just kinda melts in your mouth. Yes. And the crackers, I'd give the crackers a ten. Crack um biscuits get a ten. Biscuits, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay that's going to be it for lunch we'll be back with dinner in a few minutes please like the video subscribe to our channel follow us on instagram like us on facebook and leave us some comments thanks to nina for working the camera thanks for watching